Hi guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial on how to make a VR game. After setting up our hardware for VR development in the first video, I'm going to show you today how to set up all the software and plugins you need, and we will already enter VR as well. First, we are going to install our game engine, which is Unity. This will be our 3D software to create our VR experience, handle our input and create environments. Popular free alternatives are Unreal Engine and Godot. But since Unity has a huge community, lots of free resources and is especially popular for VR applications, we are going to use Unity. We will go to Unity and download the Unity Hub. For this, just follow the installation instructions. Once installed, you should see an empty window. On the top left icon, right here, you should have the possibility to log into your Unity account if you have one. This will allow you to directly link your projects to the Unity Asset Store, which allows you to directly import assets from there. But anyway, let's finally install the Unity Editor, which is the main software we need to create VR experiences. Therefore, go to Installs, Install Editor, and you will see different Unity versions. We will choose the latest LTS version. LTS stands for Long Term Support and I recommend you to always use this version since as the name suggests, this version will be supported for a long time and two years after its release to be exact. Keep in mind that an LTS version is always released after the beginning of the following year. So the LTS version 2022 will only be released at the beginning of 2023. That's why we will go with Unity 2021. In this window, you can choose all the modules you will need for your application. For an Oculus APK, we will need the Android platform. You can uncheck all the others, except you want to build your application for other systems such as Windows. If you are using Visual Studio to write your code, you can leave this one checked, but I will show you how to set up your coding editor in the next video. I will uncheck this since I'm using Rider as my code editor. Ok guys, here you can see all the Unity editor versions that we have installed. If for some reason you want to install an older Unity version, just go to Install Editor and Archive and follow the link to the download archive of Unity. In this archive you can find all the Unity versions and install them by simply go to Unity Hub and open it in the Unity Hub. You will then get the same window as before and you can choose the modules that you want. But we will stick with the latest LTS version for now. Alright guys, let's finally create our project. Go to Projects, New Project and here you will see different rendering pipelines and different samples from Unity. We will choose 3D URP without any content or templates. Give it a name. And save it locally somewhere. Then we can press on create project. And our project is being created. If you want to see how to manage your project using GitHub, feel free to check out our last video in the Advanced VR Tutorial series. By the way, URP stands for Universal Rendering Pipeline, and I recommend you to use that for standalone VR. You can do anything you can do with the standard render pipeline, but in a higher quality and with higher performance. On the other hand, using HDRP, so the High Definition Render Pipeline, is not possible for standalone VR headsets and only recommended for high-end VR headsets that are connected to your PC. I will leave a link in the description for people that are interested in the different rendering pipelines. Now that we have a new project, we are going to install the XR Management plugin to finally start using VR. Therefore, we go to Project Settings and then down to XR Plugin Management. Just click on Install XR Management. Here we can install all necessary VR integrations in one single place because previously developers had to install SDKs which are manufacturer specific software development kits for example SteamVR for HTC Vive headsets or the Oculus SDK for the Oculus Rift and these SDKs unfortunately are then only usable for these specific devices. 
However, since Unity developed their own XR plugin framework, we can now easily develop apps with our new multi-platform tools such as the AR Foundation and the XR Interaction Toolkit. This finally allows us to create one app for multiple platforms and not be trapped in one ecosystem. Supported plugins such as the Oculus integration can be easily installed through the package manager or directly here in the XR management plugin. Simply check the checkbox. You can see that the package is now being installed. One last thing I want to show you is the OpenXR plugin. This plugin is amazing since it enables us to just use this one plugin for multiple devices. At the moment, devices like the HoloLens 2, Windows Mixed Reality and Oculus Quest are supported. More and more manufacturers will support OpenXR in the future, so it's definitely worth checking out. All you have to do is check the checkbox here. Now we will be asked to upgrade to the new input system. The new input system allows you to declare certain interactions and movements on the same input asset for different devices, which means even for different input devices like VR headsets, smartphones and computers, you can use one and the same input action that you can declare once. So we would choose yes. Your Unity will reload now. Once we're back, you see a warning here. We have to choose our interaction profiles. So let's click on edit and we go to the list and we add the controllers that we want to add to our OpenXR. So for us, it's Oculus Touch. And if you want to add more, you can just go to the list and add more. Also, we need to go to Android for our Oculus and choose Oculus Touch Control. Don't forget to choose Oculus Quest support here. We can now go back and we see that we have no issues left. We can close it and then we are done installing. Perfect guys, we're almost there. The last thing we have to install is our XR Interaction Toolkit, which provides us with cross-platform XR controller input. The XR Interaction Toolkit package is a high-level component-based interaction system for creating VR and AR experiences. It provides a framework that makes 3D and UI interactions available from Unity input events, which we will shortly look at in a second. To install our XR Interaction Toolkit, we go to Window, Package Manager, and here we have a list of packages. Usually the package is here in the Unity registry, but as you can see, we can't find it here. Also, we cannot find it if we enable the pre-release packages like before. So I'm going to show you how to get it in 2022. You would just go up here and add package by name. Then we will just get the name of the package, which is com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. If we want, we can also type in the version, but we're going to leave it empty now, which means we will have the latest version and then press on add. Now, technically we are ready to use input actions, but we don't have an input action map yet. For that, we just go to the samples and we import the starter assets. We can close it and if we go to the assets, we can see that we have an input action map. Here are all input actions registered for our XR rig, which means if we, for example, want to activate something, we press the trigger. If we want to activate something with another button, we can just add another binding. We will look at this new input system in another video. And as we can see, we have some default actions. We can just press on add on each of them. Perfect. We now basically pre-filled our components for hands and also locomotion with predefined input actions from the starter assets. We will need this later for the locomotion, for example, snap turn. But now we are gonna look at the left and the right hand. You can see right here, and we already have our inputs filled in here. So before I forget it, we have one more thing to do in the settings. After we've done that, we go to the project settings and we go to the preset manager. And here we have to indicate which is the right and which is the left hand. 
Perfect. And now guys, we're really done and we can finally create our XR rig. Therefore, we go to the hierarchy, right click, go to XR and choose the XR origin action based. Now if you open the game object, we can see that we have left and right hand. And on the left hand we have the left input actions and on the right hand we have the right input actions. So we did everything right. At this point we could move our head and hands but we wouldn't see anything because you see everything is empty. First let's add a plane. Then we're gonna add some cubes. And lastly, if we look into the XR rig, we see that we don't have any hand models. We will look into this in detail in the next video, but for now, let's just create a prefab. Let's make another cube. And let's rescale it to maybe dot one. We have a small cube now and let's save it as a prefab in our project. What we can do now is go to the hands and we add the cube as a hand model. If we move our hands now we will see the cubes moving. Okay great guys we are almost there. We can delete the prefab now from the hierarchy and there are a few more things we have to add. First, we need the XR Interaction Manager. This is already implemented by default. On the XR Origin, we can set the Tracking Origin Mode to Floor, which means it will take the floor from the floor of your Guardian. And then we have to add the Input Action Manager. The Input Action Manager just makes sure that our input actions are also enabled so we can use them. So you press here and we choose our Input Action Map and that's it. Before we test, we just double check our profiles now. We go to the XR plugin management and we see here we have OpenXR enabled on our PC, which is great because we are going to test our app now on our PC. So you don't have to do anything else. So going back, we can close this and then we can start our Oculus. You can now open your Oculus app on your PC and connect your Oculus. You can do this by using the air link or just connect your headset with a USB cable to your PC to use the link. If you haven't already installed the Oculus app, make sure to watch the first video of this series. Once you connected your Oculus to the PC and you are wearing the headset on your head, you are choosing link on your Oculus menu and press on launch. You should then get to another menu after some loading time and now you're ready for your Unity application. Okay guys, so... We should have our Oculus app open, we can minimize this, drag our game window down here, so we have everything in our view and then we can just start our headset and press on play in our Unity editor. Your application should then be started within your headset and you should see your cubes as hands. Great, it works. And that's it guys. As you can see, we can look around and move our hands, which are cubes at the moment. But in the next video, we will look into how to set up realistic hands and animate them. Step by step, we will show you absolutely everything you need to know to make your own VR game. Thank you guys so much for watching and please consider subscribing to support the channel. I hope to see you in the next video.